Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Talking Balls. We are back with a match fly, but a three-piece ball today, James. I love this ball. James loves this ball. So a little bit different to last week's Tor CGX. Doesn't sound as firm, so it's very much like a Pro V compared to a Pro V One X with uh, we have discussed on James's channel. So far, I'm one up. James has been very lucky with his short game, so we're not going to be doing short game. Well, we are to finish. So, but... funny out, guys, we always do short game on Christmas Channel, don't we? But today, because I've got 100% up and down record, we're not doing short game today. We're doing something totally different, and we're starting sh talking balls again. And I'm not allowed to use that ball. Chris has got me in a Pro V1 today because uh, I was too good with that one uh, around the greens. Correct. So, we're going to see from here, we've got 150 yards to the flag. So, we're going to be playing a fuller shot in here. You'll see on James's channel, I hit a fantastic shot on the first hole. Hit it to around about five foot. Rolled it in. If James sends me the footage, I'll get that on because it was just poetry in motion. But we saw that it had a good control on the green, so it landed on the green, spun back around about a yard. And from this distance, this is where we want to see what kind of reaction and what kind of control we have going into the green. So we're going to hit a full shot here. We're going to hit a 150 shot. Then we're going to go down to 100. And then we're going to hit a 50 yard shot and start to see how it compares. James is going to go with the Pro V1 so we can get a comparison. Obviously the first goal is to hit the green. A good strike on the right hand side. So we'll see how that is. Not the finest shot I've hit all day. Let's see how the Pro V, but it did look like it stopped pretty quick. I've got eight iron as well. We'll draw this into that left hand flag. Use the lie. Drawing nicely. Go! Yeah, so it looked like it had one bounce, so it's coming a little bit. Oh, I tell you what, are we finishing off or? We will finish off actually, because I don't think that's close enough, but yeah, we'll get up there now and see where they've pitched, how much run out they've got. So what you're starting to expect from this kind of shot, because you've got to know from this distance how far it's going to run out. So a lot of people base their shots on, well, I can hit it 165 yards, but that's great. If there's a bunker there, we need to know where it pitches and how quick it stops. If it only carries 145 and then stops pretty quick, you'll be nowhere near your 165. Right, James lead is off, so 100 yards now. So what club? Uh, I've got a 50 degree. I think I need to all of it. We are into the wind. It's probably playing more like 110, 115. Yeah, Try and keep in control of it. I've got my 48, so hopefully we get there. Struck that really well. Caught the back edge. Yeah. Yep. To sit down pretty quick within a yard or yeah, so. Yeah, not too bad. Not the best. It's probably not as close as my one from further back, actually. Try and launch it a little bit lower. It shouldn't be hard to beat my first shot. That's on the right hand side. So launch low. Well, that spun quick for you. It's not very quick. Again, distance control so far that I chose this challenge has not been the best, but again, plenty of spin on there. That stopped within probably a couple of yards. So we'll have a look at that pitch mark, but let's move into 50. Right, 50 yards now. So I'm going to go. Well, what are you going with, James? I'm going to go 50 degree. I'm going to try and play it low. It's into the wind, and that's that's what's maybe catching us out with these shots. Uh, they're getting a lot of spin so far. And I must say, so I've been using the Pro V1 in this video. I've been using, I was going to say Wilson, but it's not Wilson, is it? I've been using the Max Fly in the previous video. I think the Max Fly actually feels softer. I honestly do. And that's something which you wouldn't think from a, a Dick's Sporting Goods product. No. You wouldn't, and not when, obviously, the price point is much cheaper. So, 50 yards. It's a lovely flight. Oh. Oh, that stopped yeah. on an absolute dime, didn't stopped it? Stopped within a yard. Still not got the distance, but a good strike. Flight was good, so it didn't pop up like you might expect from a cheaper golf ball. So, flight-wise, it's been good. Great flight. I think what we're trying to say here is Chris would like to apologise to everyone at Max Fly Golf, everyone at Dick Sporting Goods, and everyone at whatever shop did I say there? 
Oh, Galaxy. Golf Galaxy, because it's not the golf ball that's lost this uh, video, it is Chris. I think we'll give him one more chance, guys. We'll play a bit of a flop shot over a bunker, because I just want to play one of these max flies one more time. Okay, so we can see the pitch marks on it. We can see there's quite a lot of control. We've got a couple that have jumped maybe a yard or two yards and then stopped. James is here close in. It's funny how yours are all to the right and mine are all to the left, apart from that last one, which is nice and close. But the eight iron, just like we saw on the uh, par three on James's channel, has had a little bit of spin back. So again, with the control we're expecting what we get from a pro v1 so if you're somebody who uses a pro v1 or even if you've got something like an ad triple three we know there it's pitch pin high had a little bit of spin back so it's controlled for that distance so and that's something you want from a golf ball isn't it hammers i believe so i mean i just can't believe that i beat you three times in a row there that i think it's quite remarkable i do feel that one was lucky because that one i did pull that wedge shot and it pitched like here so for it to finish there obviously that is pure luck but these two were good shots, so. Right. Best of three. James wants to do best of three. I'm thinking best of two, but we'll see if I hit one close, I'll go best of two. Right. That's a lovely technique. Oh, he's kicked right Oh, water, well. but I might just go best of one. I don't think you're beating that, to be honest. That was delightful, you know. I don't think you're beating that. Nice and wide, 56 degree there. Nearly went up my nose. That wasn't even a, like a lob wedge then? No, nope, kept the loft on it. Oh, that's quite a bit fiery. Oh dear. I see why I wanted best of three. Right, take two. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's good. Oh. But not good enough. Right, third time's a charm, and then if I need it, I will bring in lucky number two max fly oh he's changed his tactic gone low no, that's checked on me. Up there. after all that that's, that's because you wouldn't let me use the max fly i think the wizard with the 60 has crumbled under the pressure there it's been a convincing victory for well, the max fly that one. Well, james wants to go with the max fly now because he's saying it's the ball that's holding him back most people blame the clubs james are you blaming both blaming the lie i can't get a good lie yeah. That is a good shot. Yeah, we'll call that. Right, guys, so the Max Fly Tour CG for me is a better ball than last week just because of the sound and the feel. It does feel a lot softer. I thought it was softer than a Pro V1, to be honest. Yeah, and we still got the flight, so we could say we could play it low. It was designed to go a mid flight, which I'd say is better for most golfers to get a little bit more direct and a little bit more distance. It also then gets us more control on the spin. James has realised he's got to cut one open. Gets you more control on that spin, so you saw with the longer shots, especially with my A iron, it's bouncing either come a yard back or it's stopped pretty much by next to its pitch mark, which is what you want to do. You then just need to know your carries. So James is going to cut it in. This was the four piece ball from last week. We can see the four layers. James is off. I've never seen him as fired up. What colour? Green. Green? I've never seen green inside. Oh. Great, so you can see there that actually very similar in that the core is massive yep. and then a thin outer layer and then just the, the shell. The Michelle, yeah. So you, <laughs> can, you can see that, guys. So you can see the difference in the ball. We can see what we've done with the ball. Great price point. If you are in the States, I know a couple of people in Canada also said they could get them. It is going to be a lot better for you than using something like an AD333 or some other non-premium golf balls michelle michelle right guys thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again later in the week